So last night we announced that we had onboarded 86 new members. That brings our total membership well above 100, I think to about 120 members. Um, what it wasn't in the announcement is there were dozens, actually hundreds of other companies looking to join, uh, and we've opened membership generally through the website for membership applications. You know, this is a real validation of our model of combining enterprise governance with open source development to drive enterprise requirements into the Ethereum protocol. Uh, we have a very generalized membership policy. Basically, if you're building Ethereum or want to and you, and you want to build it for enterprise, come join us. We do some vetting uh, around, uh, we do some vetting, you know, a lot of our members are investment bank and some investment banks and some of the world's largest financial institutions, so we do need to take that into account. But uh, we have a very inclusive membership policy. That if you're building Ethereum and you're building it for enterprises, come join us. Well, we believe, I personally believe that Ethereum is quickly emerging as the de facto platform of choice for enterprise blockchain development um, with the quality of the development tools, the incentivized ecosystem, uh, plus the power of the public chain. You know, large companies recognize the, the value of this technology, um, but, but they want more. They want... Um, enriched privacy, permissioning, governance, etc., and that's what we're developing within the EEA. So, so we we are at consensus. Uh, my company, we are strong supporters of Quorum, and I think the EEA membership generally are strong supporters of Quorum. It certainly represents a uh, an implementation of Ethereum that encaptures. Uh, many of the capabilities large organizations want when it comes to data privacy, pluggable consensus, uh, and permissioning models. So we are big fans of Quorum, and the technical working group and, and the architects are looking at it very carefully. Well, I, like, like I mentioned, there are dozens, in fact, hundreds of, of companies looking to join the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance, and we think that the membership will grow very quickly from this point forward. Uh, we're an inclusive group. We're working very hard to drive the protocol, uh, and we encourage all participants, large, small, technical, financial, to, to join us in this journey. So I think the onboarding will continue. We've got a pretty good process for that. But the, the real thing is the technical working groups are starting to really dive in, and we're starting to advance on a number of fronts in parallel, but most importantly with the protocol specification. Uh, and so there's a lot of work that's been done behind the scenes that's going to start to surface over the coming days, and a lot of work still to do in the coming months.